Hey there, math enthusiasts! Welcome back to my channel, Flourish in Math, where we make learning math fun and engaging. Today, we're going to dive into the fascinating world of base 10 blocks. These blocks are a powerful visual tool that can help us understand the concept of place value and make math much easier. So, let's get started. First, let's take a look at these wonderful base 10 blocks. They come in different shapes and sizes, representing different place values. The smallest block, which is a small cube, represents a single unit or one. We call it a unit cube. Now, if we stack 10 of these unit cubes together, we get a long, thin block called a long. The long represents 10 units. When we have 10 units, we can trade them for a long. This idea of trading 10 units for one long is the foundation of our base 10 number system. When we have 10 longs, we can trade them for a flat. The flat represents 100. And also, when we have 10 flats, we can trade them for a cube, which represents 1000. By using these base 10 blocks, we can represent any number, no matter how big or small, in a visual and tangible way. Now, let's see how we can use these base 10 blocks to represent numbers. I'll draw a table here to help us out. In the thousands column, we'll place the cube. Each cube represents 1,000. In the hundreds column, we'll use the flat, which represents 100. And in the tens and ones column, we'll use the long and the unit cube. The long represents 10 and the unit cube represents 1. Now, let's represent a number using these base 10 blocks. For example, Let's say we want to represent the number 23. To represent this number using base 10 blocks, we start from the left and move to the right. In the tens column, we have two tens, which means 20, so we place two longs, and in the ones column, we have three ones. Again, let's represent the number 46 using base 10 blocks. In the tens column, we have four tens, which means 40, so we place four longs and in the ones column, we have six ones. Again, let's represent the number 411 using base 10 blocks. In the hundreds column, we have 400, so we place four flats. In the tens column, we have one long, and in the ones column, we have one unit cube. In this final example, let's represent the number 3210 using base 10 blocks. In the thousands column, we have 3000, so we place three cubes. In the hundreds column, we have 200, so we place two flats. In the tens column, we have 10, so we place one long, and we leave the ones column empty since it is a zero in the ones place. And that's how we can use base 10 blocks to represent numbers visually and make place value easier to understand. I hope you found this introduction to base 10 blocks helpful. Practice these questions using these blocks, and you'll become a pro at understanding place value in no time. Remember, math is all around us, so let's embrace it and keep learning.
If you like this video, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated with latest math lessons. Until next time, happy mathing!